After being hooked on UFC 4 for almost 4 years, as soon as UFC 5 came out I knew exactly what I had to do, get that damn platinum trophy. So let's not mess around and get straight into it. It had been a little while since I last played UFC so I wanted to just do a quick warm up fight to get used to the slight control changes and I found out a big new feature in UFC 5 is damage build up which creates cuts, swelling, bleeding and so on. And since I'm an absolute jab and hook merchant, I was constantly damaging the same spot in his face, giving me my first trophy. Well, he's dead. And we got our first trophy for knocking opponent out on the same side they were damaged on. Yep. After a quick warm-up, the first mode I dived straight into was career mode. For those of you who have seen my EAFC video, that's right, Fakir is back and taking a quick break from Leverkusen to adventure into the land of MMA. Yeah, I like what I've conducted here. This is a uh, this is for Kier. My FIFA goat is now a UFC fighter. Gah. The first introductory fight into career mode is actually a backyard brawl, which gives me a trophy for basically just starting the career mode. But for Kier felt the need to earn the trophy, so he went to town on his opponent. Let's go, boss man. Slices versus dreads. We reach the backyard, baby. Oh, oh, he's down already. Right, that didn't take long. Oh, snap. Chill out, mate. Mate, that first fight took about 10 seconds. What has just happened? <laughs> Fakir's an animal. Moving straight into the next fight, in an actual octagon this time, may I add. Since I wanted to get the trophies really easily, I put it on the easiest difficulty, if that wasn't clear already. So I tried to knock out, no pun intended, all the trophies tied to winning matches in certain ways, starting it off with some naughty ground and pound. Oh my god, like this. Like this, go on, get on him. Oh, he's dead! The best there is, upgrade a move during a fight. Okay, ground straights, relentless as well. Finish a fight by ground and pound, we got it. After some ground and pound, I made a start on the submission trophies. Now let me say I'm a very stand and bang player. I'm awful on the ground, so I always avoid it. But whilst I was getting to grips with the new submission system, Fakir got his opponent in a naughty guillotine. Get him in a guillotine. He sapped out at a guillotine, yes. We would finish a fight by choke submission. After some killer performances, was there any doubt in anyone's mind that Fakir will be in the UFC? Nope, didn't think so. So as we get our next trophy alongside a shiny new contract. Oh my god, a one fight contract in the UFC. No Riz. I've got lots of Riz, but we've got our contract in the UFC. And I also got another handout trophy for just starting training before the debut fight. Mate, So just give me one week, mate. Showtime. Start your Contender Series training camp, alright? Fakir has not stopped having his fun yet though. He came to the Contender Series to impress the fans. And what's the best way to do that, I hear you say? Nope, definitely not a knockout, but to kindly take down your opponent five times just for the sake of it. Get up. And this should be the last takedown. Oh, takedown five. Beautiful, there's five takedowns in a fight. And after practicing some takedowns, it was quickly time to get another submission trophy. We did a choke submission, now it's time to attack the joints. Armbar again! Come on, tap out! Tap out! Yes! I did it! Finally! Joint venture! Joint submission, thank god! Don't have to do any more submissions. The next simple trophy Fakir saw on his radar was to simply knock out his opponent in a clinch. You saw earlier just how strong this man's punch was, so this will be no hard feat for the man himself. He's down! Yes! Knockout in a clinch! Have it! I said we were done with submissions, but that was sort of false. The next trophy was for releasing a submission to advance your position. This sounds way more complicated than it is, and it took me a whole two seconds. Oh, that, wow, it was really that easy. Position over submission. Wow. Before I knew it, after destroying everyone in his path, Fakir finally established himself in the UFC. Look at me now. Become a ranked fighter in UFC, woo! As I mentioned earlier with the new system for cuts and bleeding, they also brought in a new feature where a doctor can come into the octagon to pause the fight and check if someone is okay to continue fighting. After seeing this was a thing, I went straight into a fight and did nothing but jab the opponent's face until the doc came in. Please, for the love of God, have a look at his nose. Oh, just bleed, there you go, I got it, thank you. The doctor's coming in, come on in doc. Stop it. Stop the fight. His nose is gone. Oh my god, his nose. If you couldn't tell already, Fakir can basically do it all at this point. So let's add another move to his CV and hit the opponent with a cheeky spinning attack. Yes! Keep spinning! Shh. 
In between each fight, you can set a number of weeks in which you want to train. Now, I was on easy, so I basically did no training until I got one punched, but we won't talk about that. So I finally did a training drill. I sparred my partner for a while and got an unexpected trophy at the end of it. Whoa, nerd. Achieve an A grade in a training drill. Although I don't get a trophy for it, I think it's an important moment to show you your new UFC champion. Oh yeah, give it to me, give it to me. Come on, come on White, bring me the title. Woo! What an achievement. Yeah! Oh, damn, I suit, I suit that belt. God. You saw in one of my first fights, I leveled up a move. You do this by just using it a lot. And I said at the start, I am a complete jab merchant. So after throwing God knows how many jabs, Fakir finally got a five star jab with a beautiful knockout to follow. There you go. Best there was, we prestiged a move. Oh, that is a nice little animation as well. And this is where I ran into a major problem. The whole reason I was playing career mode at this point was to get the best there ever will be trophy, which is for becoming the GOAT in career mode. You do this by defending the belt 17 times, winning consecutive fights, getting knockouts and so on. Now something I'm not a fan of in UFC is longevity. This is a percentage that when it runs out you have to retire. And that's when I got hit with this pop up. The fight game, last fight, you're a warrior, you've dished out some pain but you've taken a lot over it. Over the course of your career, every time you've bled, bruised and injured yourself, takes a toll, you're no spring chicken, you see it in the gym, it's time to call it quits but maybe just after one more fight. Mate. So I'm not going to get GOAT. They're going to retire me. Brother. Oh my god. So I'm not going to reach GOAT. Oh. I'm going to have to replay career mode. I did enjoy my career mode so I don't mind starting fresh. This time I turned the sliders in the game to make me really strong and the AI so weak. And this time around I also only focused on the GOAT requirements. With all that in mind, this is what every fight looked like. This guy one hit me last time. I'm not letting that happen again. I'm getting my revenge. Costa, you stupid prick. Yeah. Have that. After blitzing through 26 fights like it was nothing, I was getting so close to that GOAT requirement while still having 90% longevity left. Crazy. Oh my god, do I just need one more win? Oh my god, I'm one UFC win away from GOAT. Unfortunately, to get GOAT, I had to fight my personal favourite UFC fighter. But either way, Fakir makes himself the GOAT with the most insane knockout you may ever see. Right, here we go. If I win this fight, I get GOAT. Obviously, I'm going to win the fight. Straight up. But. Oh. My God. What a knockout to get GOAT that was. Jesus Christ. The best there will ever be. I became the GOAT. Come on, Fakir. Now we move on to the online, starting with Blitz Battles. For those who remember UFC 4's list, you had to beat Blitz Battles. However, this year round it was much easier, meaning you only had to win two in a row. Going into this, it was infinite health and stamina, and my opponent didn't actually know this, so I just spammed jab after jab after jab, making it an easy win. That is so my win. That is so my win. She has just been absolutely destroyed. Give me my win. I did it already. Blitz Battler gets round three. That's it. No more Blitz. Easy. Then quickly moving on to rank championships. For this, you had to win four games in a row as you need to defend your title. You get the title after three wins, so you need to win those three and then win one more to defend it. And I started off strong with a satisfying knockout. Bosh! <laughs> Have that! Put your lag switch and shove it up your ass. Since I never really had to break blocks in career, I managed to miss this next trophy. It's quite an easy one. Certain moves on some fighters will actually break your opponent's block with a guard breaking strike. I actually managed to do this on accident in the next fight. Oh, block this. Oh, I did it. Oh my God, I got the guard breaking hit. As I was playing this from a New Zealand account, I had the game early, so attempting this was hell. I kept matching pro players and huge content creators left, right and centre, and I am definitely not that level. So I was over the moon when I finally got a streak going on my next knockout. Yes! Come on! Yes! Oh my god, right. If I win my next game, I've done this trophy. Oh my god, right, this is for four in a row. I need to win my next game, come on. And I was very thankful that in my next match, I played someone new to UFC, as they were just burning their stamina bar non-stop, which only ever ends in one result. Yes! Come on! Woo! I got it, and still! 
champion and defended the title, baby. <laughs> now we move on to actually my favorite mode in this game, the new edition online career mode. It's actually a lot of fun. You start with a two star created fighter and when you win fights you get XP which unlock evolution points to upgrade yourself. You have to earn a hell of a lot of these points to get the main trophy, but we start off easy, the man Fakir is back and we get some free points to upgrade him with. Wait, if you... Wait, never skip a leg day. Upgrade a fighter in online career, right? And they even handed out the next trophy really easily after Fakir showed his absolute dominance in the octagon yet again against this Rey Mysterio wannabe. Yes! Come on! I want to fight! Come on, undefeated! Yes! I want to know! Get in! Rose to gold! Start a season! I started off strong! The main trophy I was going for in online career was to prestige a fighter. What you saw before was just 50 of about 1,000 points needed to prestige Fakir. It took around 3 wins to level up once, which will give you 25 points. So I think you can tell this was an absolute grind. I had to play around 120 fights to get this trophy. Obviously there was some losses in there, but I'll just throw a quick Fakir knockout compilation out there whilst on the way to get enough points. Oh. <laughs> nice, come on! That was a clean ass hook to win the fight. I should have enough points to proceed now. That's right. Let's just spend 30 points accuracy. What now? Points used a thousand out of a thousand. Ah, here we go. Prestige fighter. This is it. This is what I'm looking for. Bang. Oh, prestige. Okay. Pound for a pound. We prestiged him. I'm going to skip over the miscellaneous trophies as they take two seconds for equipping items and jump over to fight week. This is again a new mode in UFC 5, which is live service tied to real fights in the UFC. I had to wait two weeks for this mode to come available, which is why this video took so long. And we start off easy by just making a pick. This is essentially just trying to guess the result of the fight. Round three knockout, confirm pick, what go wrong? Make picks for a fight week. The trophies tied to fight week are actually really easy and take an hour tops. All you had to do was complete all the challenges you're about to see. Now since I was going to get into this and rush through against easy AI, I didn't want to rely on the AI trying to take me down, so I just paid credits to skip the challenge, getting me my next trophy. Defend for take that, right I'm not doing that one. Piss off for that one. Wait what? Yeah, I might say unlock a challenge. Oh, wait. So I've just paid to skip it. <laughs> as you can see there, I was just writing down all the challenges to just burn through them, such as body punches, leg kicks. They were all quite simple. Now, after a clean knockout, that was all challenges of the week completed, meaning only one thing. Get up, fella. The knockout's coming, lads. You ready? Bosh, bosh. Oh, and he's dead. Unless I missed a challenge again. There we go. Easy work. I completed all of the challenges. And you ready? Goat! Yes, we got the Platinum in UFC 5! Woo! After waiting a few weeks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also click on the screen for more.